Welcome! In this session, we will learn to optimize the portfolio. Well, the first thing that we are going to do is to compute the sharp ratio. But before computing the sharp ratio, we have to establish the risk free rate. And as we can remember, it is of 2.21%, but this is a annual risk free rate. And we are working with monthly data, so we have to divide it by 12. And we have a, a risk-free rate of 8.18%. With this free rate, we are ready to compute the sharp ratio. And as we can remember, the sharp ratio is equal to the return of the portfolio minus the risk-free rate divided by the standard deviation. And we have a sharp ratio of 0.26 for the equal weights portfolio. But now we are going to maximize this, this sharp ratio in order to get the optimal portfolio. So we are going to use Solver. We click on Data, Solver. We have already installed Solver in a previous session. Now I'm going to click on Reset All. And now my set objective cell will be the cell F7 which is the share ratio. And I want to maximize this, this cell. I want to, to get the maximum uh, return by risk, by unit of risk. So, and I'm going to change the cells uh, that contain the weights from the cell B2 to the cell B21. Subject to the following constraints. Firstly, I want that the sum of the weights to be 1 or 100%. And secondly, I don't want short cells. So I don't want negative weights. I want that all my uh, weights to be positive. So they have to be larger or at least equal to zero. And we are ready. We have the two constraints. I have to press cancel and uh, we are ready to uh, maximize with solver. I click on solve and solver has found a solution. Let's see the solution. As you can see, our optimal portfolio is composed by a 42.3% 40, 40, uh, in Walmart. So almost uh, the half of our portfolio is in Walmart. Then we have 6.8 in Tesla, 12.2 in Amazon, 9.1 in Apple, 19.5 in Caterpillar, and 10.1 in Costco. It's really interesting to see that most than the fit, but most than the half of our portfolio is in two companies of retail. And these two companies don't have a high or a really high expected return, but probably, and we can see this here, they have a low uh, variance. For example, the variance of Walmart is of 5% uh, monthly, and the variance of Costco is of 5% also monthly. So you can see that the, or, or optimal portfolio is selecting two companies, not because it's high return, but probably because the correlation, but probably because they have a low standard deviation. And also probably they, they, uh, they provide a low correlation or a low uh, covariance with the other uh, companies that have been selected in our optimal portfolio. You can see that the share ratio of our optimal portfolio is 0.49. And I think that the sharp ratio of the equal weight portfolio was 0.26, I think. So you can see a relevant increase in the share ratio. With this, we are finishing this lecture. Thanks for watching.